How are you doing folks? It's Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports on Friday night with just one selection for tomorrow. Before I get on to that, just uh, chat about today uh, briefly. Um, great start for the Patreon service obviously. First day of the month, myself and Paddy were conscious of getting off to a good start. You know, we did last month and we had a fantastic month and fair play to Paddy. came up with a, a right one there today. Um, in the last race at air strings to my bow or something like that uh, trained by christian williams absolutely dollied up so four to one you know it's great and um yeah sure look that's that's the way it's done you know <laughs> simple as that and uh, won very easily uh paddy was very very keen i mean, even you know uh since entries came out it was last monday he's saying i have one for friday for air <laughs> so that was great Kind of took the pressure off me trying to uh, get off to a good start for the month. Uh, so, yeah, brilliant start. And um, I'd won myself at Newbury. Red OK now. Uh, just I didn't understand why they changed up the tactics because tactics nearly worked last time uh, against uh, pronunciation. You know, just narrowly denied last time. But And Mark of Gold, the winner today, was well back. But they went forward with Irish Hill today. Not really sure why they've done that. Not making excuses, but the horse will be seen to better effect, I'm sure, uh, next time out. Or maybe they might put them away now for uh, a summer's break. But anyway, listen, great day uh, for the Patreon service. If you haven't signed up, the, the, you know, the details are in the description below there. You know, it's worth it. Like, you know, if last month, as I said, anything to go by. Uh, would definitely worth your while. Um, okay, my YouTube for today. Um, I had two selections. Uh, the first one, encouraged. Uh, was second, narrowly denied. I had a, every chance to be fair, and um, will probably pick up a race or two. But I don't know whether I'd be too mad about it uh, going forward. And the other horse uh, at air, the mouse doctor. Uh, jumping was poor enough, but I, I kind of knew he could take chances with fences, but because uh, they're soft enough fences at air, you know. Um, which makes me think now that Paddy could be on the ball with the Wolf in, in the Grand National, uh, Scottish Grand National tomorrow. Uh, they seem to be going through, you know, the top of them fences and kind of like brush fences, really. You know, they're not as stiff as they were anyway, that's for sure. Uh, so he could be on the ball there. But most doctor. Um, yeah, look, he has definitely has races in him, but as I say, I wouldn't be too mad about moving forward. He'd have to brush up his jumping a lot, but maybe they might switch back to hurdles. And uh, during the summer, you know, it's it'd be a week or kind of contest he'd be contesting over in the UK than he would over in Ireland. So I can understand why they moved him over there. Definitely pick up a few races over the summer. All right, my own selection for the Scottish Grand National tomorrow is called the Ferry Master. Uh, he's in around 10 or 12 to 1. Uh, now, look, it's obviously a wide open race. But uh, he ran very well in this race last year. And last time out at Newcastle, he looked all over the winner. But he seemed to get a bit tired and all that. And that was his um, first run after break. It was his first run after winter. I do expect him to improve a good bit. He travels ver very well. I'd say he like the trip might just stretch him a little bit. But he's handicapped. Uh, to run a big race and I think you will he ran a big race there last year obviously uh, it's been the target all along and uh, yeah the ferry master I think uh, good chance there each way I'll stick him up as a point each way and I do the forecast as well well I've actually done this uh, the ferry master and Paddy selection the wolf so there's 28 runners in it or something but, but to, you know we boil it down to two runners there'll be some crack if the forecast came up it'd pay well too but um yeah, no, great. Now that we got the, uh, we got the old uh, Patreon service off to flyer again. You know, it's happy days, and uh, sure, that's what we do. You know, just work hard at it and um, get the results. Thank God, and long may that continue. So, as I say, if you haven't joined, the uh, you know, there's a description there, link below in the description, and uh, you know, get involved, and we'll put you on uh, decent horses that lively. You know, and there'll be um, there's a lot of talk on into selections now, so hopefully, we keep it going. Things are going really, really well. So, it's Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports. Thanks very much for listening, and I will be talking to you probably tomorrow evening. Uh, tomorrow's a learning day, I think. 
in Leopardstown. There's great racing. Uh, trials, you know, uh, the Guineas trials are on. There's a few very interesting handicaps. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to really divulging all that information that we gather. Um, I'll be watching them races over and over again. And no doubt there'll be a good few future winners uh, in store. But I, I don't think I have anything myself for the service. I might have a little dabble at something. But, um, you know, there's a bit of air, rain and the... I was fancying one big time in Chepstow, but it's not running now for whatever reason. And Newbury getting a bit of rain, so I'm just a little bit conscious uh, of that. The horse that I like uh, wouldn't want a whole lot of rain, so we'll just have to wait and see in the morning. Okay, so thanks very much. As I say, bet safe all the time. And, uh, you know, enjoy the sport and enjoy your weekend. Show value for Cold Bear Sports. I'll talk to you probably tomorrow evening, yeah. Take care. All the best. Good luck.